is this weekend and it's taking over the Clark County Fairgrounds. That's where Cor Harlan is live this morning with a look at some of the things kids can do this weekend there. Cor? Roller on top should be the thumb. Morning, Jenny, and morning, Ken. We're getting a few of the finer points on the big excavator out here at Dozer Days. This Saturday and Sunday at the Clark County Fairgrounds. It is a chance for uh, kids, big and small, to get their uh, get their hands on some heavy equipment here. This is not my deal either. I'm going down. How you do this? Right hand out. Right hand out. There you go. Anyway, you get a god. I hope you know, nobody's going to rely on me to build anything that way. Push it. Yes, there, there we go. go. There, you there go. we go. Okay. All right, Kenny. Dozer Days in its 15th year this year has raised uh, 1.4 million dollars. We talked about that last time. Could you just you, you, tell me tell me a typical day in the life of a Dozer Days volunteer? You're here in the tractor, you have kids in your lap, and you get to you get to kind of just do the thing with them, right? Yes, and you give them a chance to uh, actually have the controls in their hands so that they get an opportunity to actually feel what it's like. Uh, a lot of them are pretty good at it because it's almost like a video game for them. So right, it's like the, a video yeah, game. if they think about it, it's all electronic controls nowadays. Uh huh. Uh, and you've expanded to several cities now. This used to be just a Vancouver thing. It is now all over the Northwest, yes, right? Yes, it's uh, Seattle, at a few all fairgrounds up there. Uh, Yakima, I was just over there a month ago. And there, one, a brand new one starting today, or tomorrow, actually, in uh, Spokane. So even a little mud out here and a little rain is not going to destroy Dozer Days out here. They have, as I say, they've raised a million four. Million, $1.4 million over the years, and all of that money has gone to kids' charities in the areas in which uh, the events take place. And Robbie's giving you a look at some of the other excavators here. They've got one, two, three, at least, oh gosh, maybe seven or eight uh, uh, excavators. Uh, the dozers are sitting there. Those dozers are a little bit easier to operate than the uh, excavators, just for the record. Uh, but it'll be, it'll be good. They've got a, they got a pretty good little. They've got a pretty good little program out here where you just uh, you get in line out here and they give you oh gosh what about a minute or a ninety second yeah, about uh, a minute. sit it here depends right? on how long the lines get we try to keep the kids moving through them so all right well there it is right there and I and I know just enough to be dangerous about this which is usually bad news for people like Robbie who was running the camera this morning there how do you make that bucket go out you do that I don't know there you go. yeah our we better right hand all the way out. Roll your right hand out. There you go. Right hand out. There you go, Robbie. There's your big bucket right there. From Dozer Days this morning at the Clark County Fairgrounds, watch out because uh, uh, there's uh, there's a there's an unequipped man behind the wheel of the excavator out here. Saturday and Sunday this weekend, it'll be rain or shine, and it'll be a lot of fun for kids and for kids at heart. Jenny and Ken. Well, we see all the construction workers out there. We take it for granted yeah. that they know what they're doing, but that takes a lot of uh, expertise and coordination as well. Yes, as we're learning from Cor this morning that uh, he doesn't <laughs> quite have yet. Yeah. So 